uh, the biggest landmark event for London was the riots um, around about 2011. Um, on the back of that, there was a huge amount of work that was undertaken by the Met, obviously to target those people responsible. But I also think that sort of represents a bit of a watershed as well in terms of how we looked at and how we dealt with gangs. So we had some quite big changes within Trident. Um, and one of the key things there was making sure that all the local gangs units that are within the boroughs, they are sort of effectively and um, fully staffed, uh, sort of fully um, resourced and targeted as well. And also we changed our configuration within Trident. So by that I mean we de developed a capability to move across London. So where you do get outbreaks of violence, we are able then to go in and support boroughs to deal with that and suppress it, because we know that, particularly with gang violence, and the reason I talk about gang violence is because it generally brings the most serious violence in terms of stabbings and shootings as well, is the support we then provide to boroughs, because conscious that you know, there are a number of competing priorities, there are a number of different issues that local boroughs have to deal with, we can provide that specialist resource. And I think the point is, if we are able to get on ideally prevent the first stabbing, that's what we want to do, but if we can't prevent the first one, and then it's making sure that we have a proper suppression strategy around it to the pre prevent that tit for tat that can so often end up with more serious stabbings and more serious shootings. A lot that came out was actually the complexity of the subject, um, of which we under understood already, but what we really needed to get was to see where the resources and the partnership work in and, and to bring the community with us. That, that was a real key finding. One of the police uh, community relations have improved over a period of time. Um, I did some work on that with the Safe Enabled Boards over the last four years, and I think there has been a step change. And I think one of the important things is to actually identify the true community leaders. That's something we need to look at. It's affected everything in our lives not having Josh with us, um, hearing about what happened to Josh on that uh, in the early hours of the morning um, put us all into shock, as you can imagine, um, and we are still in shock. We are hoping to, by, by, by sharing our story and our pain, to drive more awareness and help prevent knife crime. It just doesn't affect the person that's been murdered. It affects everybody at large, whole families, communities, the infrastructure. Um, um, we're just doing everything we can really to highlight those dangers that you know you just should not be carrying a knife.